Hey everybody, Necro VMX here, and I am playing Final Fantasy 3. And uh, everybody's at level 34 here, and uh, I got all the magic that I need. Uh, just to show you guys, the Rissa here has Cure 4, Heal, and Wall, and the Jamus has Quake, Break 2, and Drain. Now, we are ready to continue the story, however, we, I'm going to take this opportunity to get a couple of side quests out of the way. As a matter of fact, uh, some of these side quests I could have done previously, but I decided to wait until I had the, um, the Invincible, because some of them you need the Invincible, some of them you don't, but um, I just wanted to get a bunch of side quests out of the way quick. Unfortunately, this first one, I actually need the Nautilus, which means I gotta go find it. I'm pretty sure I know where it is. So why am I getting out? No, no, no. Go over here. Okay, so we're going to get uh, the Nautilus going, which I'm pretty sure is... Uh... Oh, okay. Um, it's to the south here, I think. Or, well, more like up here. Hopefully there's room to park the uh, Invincible. Okay. Isn't it around here? Shit. Alright. Is it here? No. Okay. You guys. Oh, one second. I gotta move this window out of the way. Okay. Am I just in the wrong area completely? Or is it more north of here? I think I'm in the wrong area completely. Alright, alright, alright. I just told him, hey, I'm going to be playing Famicom, so don't bug me. And he's like, okay, yeah, and I'm going to be doing this. And I'm like, yeah. what did I just say? It's over here. Alright, there it is. I think I can stop there. Oh, wrong button. You got to remember, it's the B button. A button's to make the ship jump. Okay, so we do need the Nautilus for this part. Uh, oh, the heater went off. Nice. Okay. So we're gonna go to the undersea cave. Um, I gotta actually. One more second, guys. Sorry that I'm just being a derp right now. You're like, doop, doop. okay. So we need this one for now. Is this one can actually go underwater? Uh, yeah, I tell people, hey, I'm about to be recording, so I'm probably not going to reply to your IMs. But then they continue to IM me, and the window flashes, and it, it bothers me. So that's why I sometimes am clicking off the window. Okay. So, where is it? Ah, uh, here we are. Okay. And there's a cave here. Okay, so this is the first side quest we're doing. Actually, this is the Undersea Cave. I should be well over-leveled for this place. Okay. Let's just start moving around. We got enemies. Sea witches! More like sea bitches. I see bitches. I'm terrible, because I just look at these spots and I'm like, that mermaid's got ass. But technically, it doesn't. They just make the tail, like, the top part of the tail section bulge out. <laughs> Look at eight bit mermaid ass. Hashtag eight bit mermaid ass in the comments. <laughs> I am awful. Uh, the unfortunate thing about waiting on some of these side quests is some of the um, treasures and stuff is going to be a little outdated equipment, but I'm not worried about it too much. It is also just just getting general equipment and uh, general experience points and shit, and just just getting everything done. See, Rissa just leveled up. She's the first to hit level 35 then, right? Yeah, wow, okay. So just mosey on along here. We got another battle. Dasmias. Alright. I don't expect anything in this place to be a threat. And of course, I mean, I'm getting hit pretty hard, but that's because I'm a shield, so... Well, in that case, it was a black wizard getting hit. But no big deal. NBD on that.
I've got so much healing magic and shit, and items if I need them, but like I said, this is not going to be a big deal. Bitched. Skill up, level up, skill up. There we are. All right, we're going down here. Already a treasure chest. Diamond shield. I, I'm not using shield, so. But there it is. I'll probably say a seller's. I might be using shields at one point. I've got an Olaghai and a Kelpie here. Those are some weird ass designs, man. Yeah, I like the. Uh, Crab Squid and the Lion Manatee. <laughs> the Final Fantasy 3 enemy designers. Let's just take two animals and make them one thing. Everything's a chimera. Level up for Tanya Face. Alright. We got Killer Snails, which look like half snail, half zombie. <laughs> This should be killed snail. I do know that some of the chests in this are guarded by enemies, so probably should heal at one point or I'll just keep my hit points up. Just you know, just be safe. But like I said, I don't think anything in here is gonna be an actual threat. Level up. But I am gonna heal real quick here. Just one shot of cure four and everybody should do it. I mean, it didn't heal everybody completely, but it healed everybody enough. Alright, here we go. Defender Sword. I think I'm already using two of those. Yeah, alright, so I didn't really need that either, but oh well. Alright. Whoa! Okay, so we got two Alec Highs and a Kelpie. You would have thought, like, originally seeing one of each, that the Kelpie would be the crab thing. And the Alakai would be the lion manatee guy, but no. That's Final Fantasy 3 for you. I'm gonna whoop this crab squid's ass. Goodbye. I'll head in this direction. Uh, okay. I see the staircase, but I'm like, yeah, there's gotta be something else. Sea witches! Sea bitches. Hashtag 8 bit mermaid ass. <laughs> hey, VMAX, you twisted. Yeah, a little bit. We got Killer Snails. These are some vegan vegan zombies. Vegan zombies are going to graze. Right, I'm sure you've heard that joke before. Not from me, but just around the internet. Fuck them up! Very nice. Okay, what do we got? Nothing happened, alright. But, what do we got in here? Let's see. Tomahawk axe. Well, nobody that I have is using axes. So, angels. They look like Ochus, but they're called angels. Ooh! Kind of got some low hit points right now. That. I, I do play a high risk, high reward team, so. Like, I could so have the defensive team using Vikings, Magic Knights, and shit like that, but. I'm gonna have to use Magic Knights uh, at one point. I like to keep the party pretty simple, you know? At the end, I'm probably gonna have um, 
John and Tanya as ninjas, and Rissa and James as, uh, what are they called? Shamans or sages or something. Skill up! Skill up! Let's see some healing. This time, instead of that all for one thing, we're just gonna. Oh, not Libra. Just do it separately. Especially on your time. Alright, now we're gonna go down them stairs. Alright, two other guys and two Kelpies. You know, I might as well use some magic. I mean, Bolt should really wreck any enemies in here because they're all water-based. We are underwater, after all. It's funny because in the in the first Final Fantasy, you needed Axiel to go underwater. Um, in Final Fantasy 2, there was never a point where you went underwater. In Final Fantasy 3, you go underwater loads of times, and they don't even play lip service to the idea of how are these characters breathing underwater, you know? Oxiel was how you breathed underwater in the first game, but in this one, not so much. But actually, guys, I'm sorry to do this, but I'm going to pause here because uh, I'm going to the bathroom. So I'll be back in a little bit, guys. Hey, everybody, I'm back. Okay, sorry, guys. I just I thought that I was going to be able to ooh, make it to the end of the video before I had to go, but things kind of became dire. So you're fighting Kelpies and Olagai. There we go. Skill up. Uh, oh, I see a treasure chest there. Okay. Oh, they're all, oh, they're all over the place. Ancient sword. I think that might not be as good as the defender from what I remember. Let's say I'm at 238. Let's see about equipping it and see what happens. I don't have a whole lot of... Yeah, nowhere near as good. I don't have a whole lot of um, space for items here. I should have used a fat chocobo before I came here, but whatever. It's all good. Now, I might as well continue along this way. I'll go back to that. Oh! Might be able to circle around. Two Alec guys, two Kelpies. I make this louder, because the... on my end, at least, because the heater came on while I was doing my thing. He dead, he dead, fuck you, he dead. Fuck him up. He dead too. Alright. Yep, yeah, alright, we got a Tetris piece here. Diamond shield, diamond helm. Yeah. This is, like I said, this is the bad part about doing this later on. Here we have the two Ullig highs and a Kelpie. Um, since I'm in the back row now, might as well go ahead. I keep forgetting, too, that I want, well, that I wanted to move the mages to the back row, but then again, if I did that, they would be in the front row for these battles and take the same damage, so. Whoa, those are two, for di two different swords. Did I not put the defender back? I think I did not. I'll have to do that right after this battle. But also, I got shit, shit for damage there. I don't think I'll need a spell again. Like, ow! There we go. Yeah, that's not two defenders. I'll have to fix that. That's my bad. I bet it's a big difference. The defender is so much better. All right. And plus, it's got the vitality up, so there's that as well. Black hole and God's wine. All right, cool. Let's go back to those other chests that I saw. I think there's a secret area around here too. Oh, can't carry anymore. Diamond armor. Uh, I'm gonna have to drop something, most likely. These black holes. I'm, I'm probably never gonna use them. 
Same thing with God's Wine, so... Yeah. Air Knife, okay. Oh, what do we got? Alright. All a guy and two Kelpies. the damage I'm looking for. I mean, part of it was also in the back row, but... Yeah, that ancient sword. Crappy. And yeah, like I said, if I had done this earlier, I would have gotten this equipment that much earlier, but... I wanted to wait until I had the Invincible before I started really getting into side quest stuff. Do need to heal. Alright, level up. Let's get these low piece of harp and something I can't carry. Let's see. I will. I'll drop the north wind. And actually, you know what? These diamond shields. I uh, don't need them. Diamond brace. Okay. That's something that might be. Well, they have. Yeah, she has diamond, and you have diamond. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> well, actually, let me go back in there and heal. I have enough for one shot of Cure 3 on everybody. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Got one more chest, but I believe this is a secret area. Oh, not one more chest. Three more there. Killer Snails! And they're gonna just go first. Zombie Snail. Fuck them up. Wrecked. I should kill it. All right, skill up, skill up, skill up. Oh yeah, there's definitely a fake wall there. Phoenix down. Elixir and Diamond Gauntlet, which I doubt I need. I'm just gonna take a real quick look here. Nah, he's got. I just realized he has Reflect Armor. Is that better than Diamond? I'm using my defense is 56. No room to remove. Alright, well. Let me remove. These eye drops. I don't need those. Yeah, I gotta. Once I get back to the Invincible, I gotta use the Fat Chotobo. Um, I just want to check. Let's see. He's at 56. Put on the diamond armor and see what... Just in case. Oh, I don't have diamond armor. I think I must have, uh, at one point. Yeah, just, I think Reflect is better. I'm not, I'm not really concerned about it. Whoa! Alright. Agils. Three, uh, three of them. Four of them! Obviously I can't count! So make sure that 8-bit mermaid ass. <laughs> hey! Marissa getting wrecked there. Not, not ideal at all. Not exactly a big deal, but not ideal. Sure is. Okay, cool. Sure, come here. All right. Level up, level up, level up. Aegis, and a monster appeared. The Aegis shield, and I got a monster. Okay, so let's... Dragon Zombie. Alright. Well, it's only one, but I'm, I'm still... I'm not gonna fuck around with these guys. Uh, I'm not gonna try the healing trick, but... I'm gonna hit it with Fire 3, because I'm pretty sure... I could take it out in one round. If I throw Fire 3 in there. Ooh, not even necessary. Very cool. Fucking hell. This is my bad. I forgot to empty out before I uh, came in here. Uh, what am I gonna. I dropped the softs. I have spells for that. And you know these claws? 
I'm probably never going to use claws again. So, yeah. Blood Spear, and another monster appeared. A Periton? I don't think this should be a big deal at all. Oh, hell yeah. That's it. Nine hits? Forget it. He's toast. He's Texas toast. Triton Hammer, and another monster. Eater. Yeah, this ain't a threat. Cool. And we got a reflect armor, which I didn't need. Monster appeared. Um, okay. Deathclaw, huh? This guy might be able to split on me means that I'm going to use magic a bit, too. That wasn't too terrible. Yeah, they split alright. But that should probably kill it. Yeah, yeah they were targeting the other one. Um, I really don't want the... If the mage is attacked, then it's gonna be like, oh, well... You know, it might split again. Okay, good. That should end it. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Um, you have exit, right? Maybe it's maybe it's James. I keep forgetting whether it's white magic or black magic in this. I'm not seeing it. I see war. Maybe it was white magic and I just was blind. Oh, it's right there. Level three. Warp to the outside. All right, I'm gonna stop here. I'll see you guys real soon with more Final Fantasy three. But between this video and that video, I'm gonna go back to the uh, invincible and dump off a bunch of my stuff. So I'll be back on the Invincible when we pick this up again.